Does anyone know why it took 25 years for the recording industry to accept digital audio workstations? You know, who know? Tell us, Mr. Audio. Even though Soundstream's Thomas Stockham developed the first digital audio workstation in the late 1970s, it would take another 25 years before the entire recording industry was using DAWs. The early digital audio workstations were, for the most part, a replacement for a tape recorder. They often had few signal processing or mixing capabilities. This was one reason why it took such a long time for the recording industry to make the switch to DAWs. However, the biggest reason at that time was the price. Since so few workstations were sold, often only a few hundred of each brand worldwide, they were prohibitively expensive, often priced from $100,000 to $200,000 each. As computer power dramatically increased, so did the workstation's capabilities. Gradually, DAWs became a replacement for the entire recording studio control room, as they could now record, edit, mix, and master. They could eventually output audio files in every conceivable format. As this was happening, more units were sold and the price became more affordable. By the late 80s, early 90s, studios that specialized in broadcast production first started making the switch. Then, in 2000, the film industry in Hollywood made the switch. And finally, the entire music industry abandoned tape to embrace the advantages of digital audio workstations. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.